Hello everyone, as per your request, I am bringing up a series which is known as Efficient Note Taking. And this is very important for you guys who are preparing for several uh, entrance examination or competitive exams. Knowing how to take efficient note is one of the skills that would help you throughout this process. Now, many of you wonder how to take notes, what to write in your notes, and always remember these notes is the one which is going to help you before the day of your exam. So you have to make sure your notes are not too long and you can recapitulate them comfortably before the day of it, your exam. So these things you need to keep in mind. Now if you need more these kind of suggestion, you can get it from an academy educators just like me. So you can join the Achievers Batch 5 for a uh, IIT Jam 2022 and this batch is starting today 21st April and it's only 9 hours to go so subscribe to this particular batch or IIT Jam category in an academy right now before the price hike if you wait for some time the price would be increased so in this pandemic time using an academy you can study safe and study from home and it's also cost effective believe me on that so you just need to download the app, use my code AP10 and then you can start learning in the app, give exams and clear your doubts and all of these things. So hurry up, 9 hours to go and enroll now. Okay, let me give you some quick tips about making notes. First of all, you need to scan your previous year questions. That would give you an idea on which topics you should take a deep dive and learn it from very uh, very much details or learn it from su or learn it superficially so this is the decision you have to make based on previous year question paper okay then you have to make your own notes read the textbook and make i mean summarize the concepts in your own way right because if you try to learn from my notes you might not be very comfortable with the language or anything so it should be customized and it should be yours right so read your first textbook summarize your concept and then keep it in format of a note let me give you a specific example how to do it so what you can see in the screen is a uh, flashcard this flashcard would give you a flashback memory of this particular topic so in order to read this flashcard you just need hardly one to two minutes but it would remind you about all the necessary points. And this topic was from circular dichroism. So let's say I'm preparing for IIT jam. So I'll be looking for this question paper and I would be rating topics which are frequently asked. One of that was circular dichroism. That's why I asked, uh, prepared this thing. So let's prepare the notes together. So here we are, circular dichroism. So what comes in your mind when you hear the term circular dichroism? What sort of technique it is? That's the first thing, right? So one sentence describing the technique and its use would be your first thing to note down. So first of all, I knew that circular dichroism is a spectroscopic technique. And whenever we talk about spectroscopy, we think about light passing through some sample, hitting some detector and absorbance value is going to be measured. That is why pictorially I have drawn this in the screen, right? Then what to do next? Next make a sentence about the circular dichroism spectroscopy. So I have written that circular dichroism. Uh, circular dichroism spectroscopy involves circular dichroism property of light it used polarized light right that means and this polarized light get differentially absorbed by the sample so there are two kind of polarized light and this light is getting absorbed by the sample differentially right and that is giving rise to the dichroism phenomena so the circular dichroism word is broken down in one sentence Right. So what is the definition of sort of circular dichroism in your own words you have written. Now the whole thing is you need, need to use polarized light not any kind of light right. You need to use a polarized light. So you obviously you have to pass the light through the polarizer to polarize it. And here there are specific definitions of polarizing light. Here there would be left and right circular polarized light. If you want to know these things in details you can click on the link in the i button. But right now next step I would write a little bit about 
polarized light what type of polarized light is used in circular dichroism so it's not linearly polarized light it is circularly polarized light we have to know how it is generated what is the definition of left circularly polarized light or right circularly polarized light so these things need to come next and their differential absorption is known as is a measure of circular dichroism so that's what i have written in format of a formula right so this is basically you can see a modification of beer lambert law type so this would remind you in the main examination okay then the most important part application of this process so circular dichroism the biggest use of circular dichroism is determining secondary structure of protein and other bio biomolecules using this kind of approach you can also study um, effect of ph and several other solvents on proteins folding uh, stability of protein etc so these things can be also studied using circular dichroism so you need to know that lastly you need to know the circular dichroism signatures of common secondary structures for example if it is bitter sheet it looks like this if it is starns it looks like this so this overall profile is important because what happens is in your real experiment you are going to check the dichroic let's say you have put some kind of salt and wanted to check what kind of secondary level structure it has changed in a protein so what you are going to do is basically check the uh, circular dichroism spectra with and without the salt treatment that would kind of tell you that what kind of secondary level changes had happened and lastly you can write a little bit of definition of what is right and left circular polarized light or anything any comments that you want to write in this particular thing maybe these comment can come from rt jam question papers exactly what they have asked or which angle they have asked this question so this is how you can generate one flashcard reading this flashcard which is having a four or five segments would take only five minute of your time but it would help you to revise efficiently the whole topic so make flashcards of many of these topics anyway just like i have shown you circular dichroism you can do it for immunology physiology cell biology and for literally everything i have a range of these products in an academy which is available in an academy in my course so in order to take my course you can use my code ap10 and if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you